Um, one of the things I would advise you know, people who are aspiring to be poets to think about is that idea of the gap. In other words, the gap between the idea that you have to convey and your ability to, to, to make that idea into something that is physically there, that is the poem, um, is to, to think about that gap as something that you can always bridge if you practice. In other words, doing exercises, experimenting with form, experimenting with, um, with dialogue with art and with artists and writing regularly and not feeling as if whatever you do is the only thing you can do but expanding your palette, expanding your poetic range. Um, I think that's part of your responsibility as a poet. Your responsibility as a poet is to increase your vocabulary, increase your, 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 your use of poetic devices and so on, so that when you come to the page, you can use those, that range to, to create really powerful and exciting work that fills people who are listening to you and who read your work with a sense that they are seeing things that they may have known but have never seen it so beautifully and so evocatively expressed. Our responsibility is to have language to be able to do that. And that's that I encourage aspiring writers to be honest with themselves, to know their limitations, and then to work hard to, 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 um, to remove those limitations by practice.